today, champions. My OG and favorite run and gun combo is back, thanks to a nice buff in Title Update 20 to the Chess Talent Intimidate. If you're a fan of fast paced, high energy run and gun builds that pack insane damage, then stick around. I have to use the bathroom. Sit down. I think it'll the end of this scene. and they lost a big stockpile of ordnance. Throw in the fact that the settlements can scavenge those workbenches and tools, and I'd say it's been a pretty good day. The people have spoken. It's a hit. 
16 million viewers. Hello, m Plum here, g'day champions, how's it going? And welcome back to another Division 2 build video. Today, we're gonna to be checking out one of my long-standing favorite builds. This is an awesome run and gun build with insane damage and insane survivability. This is great when solo and in a team, and it's really easy to put together. This setup makes it really easy to smash out heroic content with directives active, and I hope you all took note that I didn't even use my skills. Even though I've taken the time to optimize my build, a newer player with a low SHD level and unoptimized gear can still smash through content with this setup. And you're guaranteed to have a lot of bloody fun doing so. Righto, so welcome back to all you amazing subscribers. And if you're new to the channel and you're enjoying the content, pull your finger out and give that sub button a click. Also remember to engage with this video. A like, a share, a comment, it's all gonna help with the magic and the wizardry of the YouTube algorithm. Doing all this stuff is going to help the channel and our amazing community grow. If you want to support me on my other socials or catch me live in action on Twitch, Kick, and even on TikTok, all the links are in the description. Righto champions, with all that said and done, let's check out my title update 20 Intimidate Hunter's Fury build. Three reds, four blues, one skill tier, and we're sitting at 1.5 million armor, which is a great balance for running and gunning. We have four pieces of the Hunter's Fury gear set, the Memento backpack, and the newly buffed Hunter Killer chest. A very easy build to farm for and to piece together. For our specialization, I'm going to be using Gunner for that 10% armor on kill. Every third reload is 50% faster. Gunner replenishes ammo for us and our team. And we also get a small increase of our rate of fire on kill for five seconds. For our primary weapon, I'm going to be using the Lady Death. This one's been maxed out, expertised, and I've re-rolled it to damage the target's out of cover. Yes champions, that's correct. In title update 20, you can now re-roll that third attribute on all your exotic weapons. The talent on the Lady Death is called Breathe Free. When you're moving, you gain 4 stacks per second, or 8 stacks when sprinting. Max stacks is equal to the weapon's mag size. Each stack fire consumes a stack, amplifying your damage by a massive 75%. Kills grant plus 20% movement speed for 10 seconds. So you can move around, gain that huge damage increase, burst down your target, and then get a massive speed boost. This plays in very nicely with our fast paced, high energy run and gun play style. Now you can certainly use other weapons if you like. The Ouroboros on this is awesome, but I get a lot of comments from players that still haven't been able to obtain this from the incursion. The Lady Death is part of the regular loot pool, so it is pretty easy to farm for. I also love the chatterbox on this setup, that rate of fire is lit. But also any high-end SMG would suit this type of build. A Vector, the Banshee, the MP7, shit, even the Emmeline's Guard would slap on this. As we clear content so fast, I don't even bother swapping to my other weapons. I keep the Lady Death charged and ready to unleash that insane damage. Now let's get into the gear on the build. First is our Hunter's Fury Mask. Our four pieces gives us 15% shotgun and SMG damage, 20% armor on kill, 50% health on kill, and Apex Predator. Hostiles within 15 meters get a debuff, amplifying your weapon damage against them by 20%. Killing a debuffed enemy with your weapon disorientates others that are nearby and amplifies your weapon damage against them by 5% and this can stack a further 5 times. So at full procs we're at 45% amplified damage, and with the 75% from the Lady Death, that's 120% amplified damage. We have max weapon damage, crit hit damage, and a crit hit damage mod. Now for the chest piece, I'm so glad that this is back and viable again. It's the Hunter Killer. This will probably be the most difficult part of the build to get because you do need to kill all your Warlord expansion hunters to unlock this item. We do have max armor, crit hit damage, crit hit chance, and a crit hit chance mod. The talent is perfect intimidate. While you have bonus armor, gain one stack for each second up to a max of 10. Each stack increases weapon damage by 4% to enemies within 10 meters. All stacks are lost when you have no bonus armor. 
So that's a 40% weapon damage increase when we've got bonus armor. Now, currently Intimidate is actually giving us more than one stack per second. I can't remember if this talent's wording is incorrect and hasn't been updated, or if it's a bug. Nothing's mentioned in the notes for the next update, so for now, it's crazy good again. Now, what if you don't have this piece or you couldn't be bothered getting it? Well, it's fine. Use the Sokolov chess piece with the regular Intimidate talent. I'm actually pretty sure that it hits harder at the moment. For the holster, we've got Hunter's Fury, Max Armor, and Max Crit Hit Damage. The knees are the third Hunter's Fury piece, Max Armor, and Max Crit Hit Damage. And the gloves are the fourth Hunter's Fury piece, we've got Max Weapon Damage, Crit Hit Damage. Pretty easy stuff. Now for the backpack, it's one of my favorite exotics in the game. It's the Memento. We gain one of each core attribute, weapon damage, armor, skill tier, and I've got a crit hit damage mod. The talent is called Kill Confirmed. Enemies you kill drop trophies, each trophy gives you both a short term and a long term buff. Short term buffs do scale with your core attributes on your build, so each trophy that I pick up I get a 15% weapon damage increase, a huge 40% bonus armor, and 5% skill efficiency. At max stacks we get long term buffs as well, so we get that 30% weapon damage, 30% skill efficiency increase, and a 3% armor regen. Now the reason I like the balance of the core attributes is we're relying on having bonus armor to activate our intimidate chest talent. I've seen people recently talking about 6 red intimidate builds, which is utterly pointless. You simply won't have enough bonus armor to keep intimidate active. And to be honest, if you are running six reds on every setup and bot walking around behind a shield, you are making it wrong by using Intimidate. Now there's certainly other backpack talents that you could use. Adrenaline Rush is a nice one. Also Bloodsucker is great to get that bonus armor instantly on kill. And don't forget when you're in a team, team bonus armor can come from talents like Vanguard and even Galvanize. So that covers the build, now for the skills it is player preference. Now I do have a shield and a striker drone equipped on the build, but as you all witnessed in that opening gameplay, I didn't use it. That's just how good this build is and there's definitely no bot walking shield stuff. Righto champions, it's fine print time, let's check out our stats. 53% crit hit chance and 134% crit hit damage. We've got that 10% damage to targets out of cover on our Lady Death, along with that 75% Amplified Damage. Hunter's Fury gives us 45% Amplified Damage, and we can get that 40% Weapon Damage increase from the Hunter Killer Chest, and 30% from Memento. It's just insane damage on top of more insane damage. We have 77% All Weapon Damage and 45% SMG Damage. These can be increased the more you expertise. And for our armor, we're just under that 1.5 mil and we get nearly 450k armor on kill. Add that 3% regen from Memento and that massive 40% bonus armor per trophy that we get. This build's got it all. So that's the build champions. If you're a fan of fast paced, high energy, run and gun builds that pack insane damage and also have insane survivability, then this is the build for you. It's an easy to make and easy build to use for PvE. Smash out heroic content with directives active and have a lot of bloody fun. So what do you reckon? Are you going to be a champion and have a crack at this build? What modifications would you make? Let me know down below. Thanks for tuning in and make sure that you show your support by smashing the like button on this video and if you're not already, please subscribe. Everyone's support is always greatly appreciated and I do hope to catch you all in the next one. I'm Plum, Plum out.